Hey there guys, it's Nolan and Jason, and today we're gonna to talk about buying leads, pros and cons. So just from a purist standpoint, I don't have a problem with anybody buying leads. No, if it works. If it works, it's, it's marketing. If, if, right? if you spend a marketing dollar and you get a return and your return is greater than what you paid yeah. out, you're good. So one would think you're good. <laughs> That's the problem. So I, I, there I have issues, because there's, yeah. there's, hidden, there's hidden costs and the costs are pretty severe. Yeah. And so uh, the pros are that if it returns mm -hmm. and it works, hey, you know, I got a lead and I made some money and I fed my family. Especially when you're starting out new. Yeah. And you, you're building your you reputation and building your right. brands and you just, you need more. So that's another one it's I had it down is it's quick. Yeah. You just need more. Now the problem is, and, and I guess, uh, I don't know, what other pros are there? Fast fixes. If it returns, why not? You can build a business off of it. Oh, if you get more leads, you buy a lead once and you might get lots of repeat business off of it. Right. So it builds a client base with repeat possibly as well. Maybe, depending Maybe. on your platform. Yeah, that seems to be shrinking. People are very uh, rough on businesses these days when you know right. they don't seem to care about who you are and that you're a nice guy. and. I don't care, right? It's just I've got a group on for this, so yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. for the other guy. Like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna get five beds. I don't care. You know, shut your face and see how much it is. And so, right. If you mess me around, I'll trash you online. Yeah. Right. So, but yeah. So, so, but it could build a base. So there's and there's all those things that are nice about it. Now here's the cons, and it's gonna go longer on it because it. It's a systemic. <laughs> it's going to sound like we're slamming. It, it's not. It's a, no, I don't mind. <laughs> we, we still have clients buy leads and they can be a good supplement, but it right. shouldn't be. Now, that's a that's a better way to put it. So or is it OK long term? Yes, it can be OK long term, but it's it should be a supplement to your overall online presence. Yeah, it should. It should be yeah. one what one part of your or at least eventually effort. should be yeah, yeah. so yeah. if you start out and you're doing this fine um, usually okay so let's start on the easier uh, cons on the deal it seems like a good idea but then <laughs> then it's not because yeah. actually the leads suck and you pay too much for them yeah they're right? expensive and depending yeah. on which lead service you're talking about Let's Sometimes, not, let's so, not mention so, anything. Yeah, I'm not going to mention anything this time. I, I learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah, um, but, so, I mean, some services you get really good uh, leads, but some of them you get, you get so, kind of garbage leads that are sent to 15 other guys in your area. And Yeah, so, so yeah. clients, I've never ever heard a group of people all resoundingly love one of them. Yeah. I will say that. <laughs> in fact, there are certain ones I could say that I won't that – they all resoundingly hate. Yeah, we, and, we've had many clients. There's one or two particular ones that we over and over hear clients say, "I'm, I'm spending this much a month." It's a love hate so relationship, so, though, and yeah. I want to stop. I'm I, so I want to stop. People. I hate them, but it does pay some of my bills. Right. You know, so it's this love hate relationship, and then there's a group that likes a few of them. Yeah. You know, like twenty percent of them will like some, but eighty percent of them hate all of them, and then. Uh, there will be some that float around and I hear a few different ones. So if you can find one that returns, fine. And yes, most vast majority are in the process of like trying to get out from under it. Yeah. And here's why it's worse than they think it is. Because if you're, and I talked, I used this analogy the other day, but if you're, if you're earning your money in the United States and then, but you really, and you send it to another country, well, that hurt, didn't it? So right. we, we paid somebody here, I don't know, they're, you know, I was going to say citizen, but we paid someone <laughs> here and we, you just assume the money's going to get spent here because the person here is, there's opportunity costs. They're getting, they're getting services, right? right? Not to get all political or anything, but then the money's gone all of a sudden. It's like, well, hey, how are we, there's a systemic loss, this issue. And then if a business takes this money and then gives all the money to another brand, that money supports the other brand. Right. You know, so they bought this one. It's like pawning for a lead. It's like, hey, I'll give everything to you. And then, uh, I'll, you know, maybe I'll get some benefit from this. But but the benefit was minimal, you know. In the short yeah. term, it, seem, it seems great because your, your marketing dollar is getting you a lead. But in the long term. In the long term, you didn't support your own business. Yeah, you didn't you, There's build this your little brand. thing called the Internet and organic that you could have participated in. That you that you didn't. You actually gave money to someone else's, uh, 
you know, uh, and allowed them to build their allowed online. them to build their <laughs> digital marketing brand. Right. And so that money went into feeding that beast and feeding that beast on on their digital marketing brand. Sorry, guys. There you go. Anyway, so um, I told I, I'll tell you guys why I don't turn my phone off because if I turn my phone off for for doing these. You forget it, to turn it back on. It's off all day long. Yeah, you forget yeah, to turn it back so on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've inconvenienced We've you done that before. For my own personal needs. <laughs> but anyway, but, but yeah, so if your money is going out the door, I'm not even sure how you'd quantify the loss. So as you, it, you, you guys, you can go into so many things with your money online. You can, you know, of course, and I'll give like a 30 second. We do custom design, custom code base, custom content, blogging. We include uh, programs like Righteous uh, Reviews for reputation management. You could go into social media. You could go into videos. You could go into YouTube. You could go in, you know, you want as many organic keyword rankings and map placement and review integrations and it could just it just goes on and on. Right. You could podcast. You could do anything, but once that money's gone, and, it, and some people spend like thousands and thousands and thousands on it. Now imagine if somebody oh, oh it's nothing for us to hear uh, a guy call us and say that he spends three grand, six three grand, grand, five yeah. grand a month or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah, if yeah, I, that's, you know, three. Yeah, that's not an unusual. Three to six thousand is like standard. Yeah, you know. So if somebody had spent that wisely and said, okay how many of these things can I get into? So someone can hook up with us for really relatively inexpensively and handle just a ton of things around organic in one. Right. And if they took the rest of the money and said, hey, you know, what can you guys do for the rest of it? So it'd be like, well, we could do this, that, and the other. And then we'd run out. They'd still have money left over. And then they could go into doing other things and, yeah. and still do more. Like some of their own videos, podcasts, social media. I mean, yeah. Once it, once you once you build your organic presence, taking some of that money and put it into uh, display ads, Google display ads. And you could start spending. Yeah, and you could spend remarketing money. is so re, is so ridiculously pixel tracking, cheap. Yeah. frankly, that you, and you can get so much out of it. Remarketing, pixel tracking, it actually increases. So you spend all this effort to get your organic keywords, map placement, reputation, reviews, and all these people come to your website, then you remarket with little banners popping up on Google or pixel tracking on Facebook. Right. Supposedly increases conversion by three to 500%. Right. And then when the marketing dollars spent, it was spent on your brand, not somebody else's brand for the lead. Right. So the, uh, the, the opportunity cost of getting that lead up front could be into the hundreds and hundreds of percent of loss based upon it. I don't know. It's like it's like a like a like buying a burger from a uh, from a fast food place. You know, you, you, so have you ever heard the calculations of how much the true value of the burger is? No. Once you count like. Ozone depletion, you know, oh, mass okay. grazing, that, that, yeah, uh, that cost, yeah, highway, you know, tr trucking the stuff over. The cost of the burger is like it's a, like a forty dollar hamburger, <laughs> but you're paying two to bucks for it because you're not adding in all the destruction behind it. Right. So when I mean when you go in and you buy that lead, you're devastating your business. Yeah. You're just literally just devastating. And it, it's one of the I, we've actually this is a good this is a good one actually because. It comes up on my mind all the time, and I think about it. And I brought it up today because people are calling. It's like I need leads. They're almost like dope fiends. You know, yeah. I gotta have oh, leads. Absolutely. I gotta have leads. Yeah. I gotta have leads. It's like, okay, uh, you know, we'd like to help you get leads through proper organic methods and grow your business. Like, no, I've got to have leads now. I just need know? to buy leads right yeah, now. Yeah, I can like, have well, leads now. That's not really what we do. Yeah. And and. Yeah. And, and we understand why it's difficult, especially if you start buying leads when you're starting. It's, and then you come to us and we're like, well, it's a process. So we start and we're doing an SEO It's campaign. not slow, though. It is not slow. I didn't say slow. Yeah, I just it's, said a, it's, a process. it's a process. But it's, sounds it's slow. slower than today. just buying a lead. Yeah, you can buying a lead, a lead is a fix right now. Yeah. And so it's easy to get hooked on that. Yeah, it is. It's like a drug and getting hooked on it. And you, you know, you lose the force for the trees deal. And I, I see these people spend this money and it's like, God, if you just would redirect the spending of the money properly, that we should hit it from that angle for another category. Yeah. Like how to spend your advertising dollars properly. What's improper advertising, advertising dollars spent and what's proper advertising dollars spent. Right. Because you could still buy some stuff with this. You could still buy some 
you know, you could still buy, like Jason was talking about, retargeting, remarketing, pixel tracking on Facebook. You could still straight up pay per click. Straight up pay per click. You could you could spend money on some social media, but you're promoting your brand. Right. And and the budget that people spend for leads that they hate would do a massive amount of work. You'd be the juggernaut in your town. Yeah. You know, for the it, it's it's frustrating for us because we'll ta- occasionally talk to a business owner. Oh, they and, never understand it, and frankly. Like, not, we tell not them, fully. well, we can do this, yeah. we can do this, we can maybe do some Google PVC. Well, what can we get for that? Well, we'd recommend a budget of about $2,000 a month or something like that. Right. I'm like, well, I don't have any money left over because I'm spending $6,000 a month on insert or, lead service. Or here. it's like, oh, so it'll be about $1,000 <laughs> or we have, you know, it'll be whatever it is, $500, $600, $1,000, $1,500. It's like, hey, we can do organic, we can do code base, we can do your content, we can do your blogging, we can do mapping and uh, optimization, and we can get into your Google account and citations and reputation management. It's like, well, how much is it? Will it be 500 or 1,000 or 1,500? It's like, oh, I don't know. I give Google 4,000, but I, yeah, ooh, that's steep, you know? <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got, uh, this other company did it for $200. I said, yeah, we see that. Yeah, we're looking at the we're site you got for two hundred dollars, and we know why you're yeah, not we, ranking for we're anything. Aware. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm just looking at all the cheap crap of all the stuff I'd look at, and yours is slightly high. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to go spend seven thousand dollars on other stuff because I trust their name brands that I've had drilled into my head, and I don't trust in myself to work on my own brand. And I'm going to use my small, narrow amount of information and thinking I have to completely jack myself out of the greatness that could have been. Right. You know, there's your sound bite, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were kind of doing a Jack Nicholson. Yeah, is it? Hey, the man. greatness that could have been. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that to myself. But yeah, mo- the, some people get it. Some do. Yeah. And, and, and mo- when clients come on board, they get part of it already. Right. But, but in all honesty, what percentage of them get it to this level. You mean, oh, to of like even, doing of, everything? If even our clients or anybody's clients that are paying for this, what percentage of them understand it to Fair, this methodology? Frankly, very few. Like 5%? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's not 20%. I mean, and, and we no. get it. You you don't want to spend a bunch of money. You want to keep your money. We but how, We don't like having to spend money. Once somebody either. is spending the money, though, why would not just try it yeah. and say, okay, let's see if I can brand myself out around here. There's not, There's endless methods to brand your own company are available. Right. And I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that the companies that beat the pants off of you on branding themselves, they're not spending that much. You know, they're not spending that much online. So the, most of them probably spend less than $2,000 less in some markets, less than $1,000 to beat you. They just right. happen to do some of it. Right. Depends on the market. In a big market, they might even spend less than a grand. So it just it depends on the situation. If you have some competition, that's another thing too. It's like people used to like. So now you go buy a lead, right? Mm-hmm. Or you go work on your brand to get the phone to ring. In the olden days, you paid for advertising on Yellow Pages, or you paid for print advertising or direct mail. Named your company AAA. Yeah. You're first in yeah. the phone book. That kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, well, there's still some of that going on. They, they, we, we have a client, remember, I will not mention their name, but they were AAA and then the Yellow Pages uh, kind of made it against their rules and they named their name, a name that started with an A. Oh, you yeah. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. pretty brilliant, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, claim they still get some calls every once in a while. From yeah. But yeah, so people used to go in and work on their brand. So used to every business owner worked on their brand. And they all bought stuff and worked on that brand. And nowadays, you did mailers, you did flyers. Yeah, it's all for your business. You sponsored a local baseball team, whatever it might be. Because of these companies selling leads online and doing stuff, now you can go buy leads, and people and a lot of people just give up and don't work in your brand. It's just not worth it. Right. It's absolutely not worth it. Because um, when you you like he he meant he said this earlier when you buy that lead you're helping them build their brand. You're paying. Some of that money you paid them paid to make it harder for you to build the And it's not just that. that. They Not only did they build their brand, they also, you know, the opportunity cost of lead prevented you from building your own brand. Right. You could have gone in and done, you could have gone in and done all kinds of stuff, you know. So anyway, that's, 
That's lead. This is supposed to be pros, pros and cons. cons. It was mostly cons. <laughs> There's pros. This is all right. Pros. It's cheap and quick. Cons. <laughs> everything else. Cheap and easy. <laughs> That's true with a lot of things, though, right? <laughs> cheap and quick things cause problems, don't exactly. they? Exactly. I'm going to date myself here, but once upon a time, if you bought one of those Yugo cars, you remember those? I do remember those. I mean, I, I knew some. You, you like throwing people under the bus? At least, at least they're out of business, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> they're long gone. It doesn't yeah. matter. But, you know, people bought those and they lasted like three months and then died. They were like five thousand dollars, yeah, weren't they? Or, or no, even less. Were they less? So we're than talking that? the eighties. Like four thousand dollars. Like three thousand bucks. They're really you cheap. Could get one of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter, man. He could apply it to fast food. Cheap, cheap, <laughs> and easy. cheap and easy. Cheap and easy. Cheap and easy. Cheap and easy. It'll get you some now, but long term hurt you bad. Right. Anyway. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.